Today I will be sharing with you a new variation in the code for spawning an infantry squad for the RYD PT patrol script. This new variation will allow you to have custom units or squad instead of a preset squad. Here we are on the RYD PT patrol script release thread. In my previous video I introduced this script and showed you guys how to install it and demonstrated it. Uh, this was the previous video. I'll link this release thread in the description of the video and I'll have the code and everything in this release thread. So let's get in game and let's set up a little mission and I'll show you guys how to use this code. We're going to set up a little mission. I'm going to go over here. It doesn't have to be anything special. We're just going to place an unarmed, unarmed rifleman. This will be our player. Next, we're going to go to this location and we're going to go to markers and then to areas and we're going to place an eclipse marker over this military base and we're just going to name this area area one and just hit okay now for our ydpt uh, patrol script one of the requirements to use the script is to place a marker so i'm going to go to the area widget and we're going to expand this marker and this marker is going to be for infantry to patrol. So now, when you do infantry, uh, set up patrolling infantry, you want the marker to be big enough to cover the area so that they can have enough room. Because if you make it too small, then they, they literally only patrol that specific area of the marker. So we have our marker created. We have our marker named. Let's save our mission. And this is going to be on Malden. We're going to name this RYD underscore patrol. We'll save that. Now that we have our mission saved, what we're going to need now is the script in the scenario itself. So let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to where it says open scenario folder. Click on that. We are in our mission folder. And what I'm going to do is move the two scripts that are required. So if you're new to this and you're using the RYD PT script for the first time, this is how you install it. You just take the RYD PT folder, which has the script inside, and also the INIT.SQF, and you put it into your mission folder. Now we have the folder open. Let's take a look at the script real quick. Uh, I just want to show you one little thing. So at the top it says RYD PT script. We're going to scroll down towards the bottom. And here is the infantry code, infantry spawn code. This is just the title. Now in my original video for this script, I showed you guys how to use this code right here and how you could get your own preset squad using the config viewer. Today, what I'm going to show you in the mission is I'm going to give you another variation of the code where you can have a custom unit or units or a squad that you put together and put them in the code and then have them spawn and patrol wherever you want, wherever you set up your marker for the uh, script. We're going to start up a notepad document and I'm going to give you guys this, this code. So just start up a, a notepad or a notepad plus plus, it doesn't matter. And once you get it open, just hit enter. And I'm going to give you a, give you guys a small code. So you're going to put three left square brackets. And then you're going to put space, right square bracket, then a comma, then west, then a right square bracket, a comma, then a quote. And then you're going to put area one, end quote, and then right square bracket, then hit space, call space ryd underscore pt that's all in capital letters underscore gate patrol infantry semicolon let's quick review this code in between this bracket here we're going to put some class names we still have to do that yet so here is the side or the faction side of the units that you're going to use so we're just going to we're just going to use West or Blue 4. This is considered Blue 4. 
The area 1 is our marker, and this basically calls the infantry aspect of the code. So we're just going to leave this open for right now, and we're going to go back into our mission, and we're going to put down some units, grab some class names, and add them to the code. We're going to go back by the player, and what we need to do in order to spawn our custom squad is we need to place triggers. So choose F3 triggers, and choose a trigger without a size. We're just going to create a radio trigger. And we're just going to place it right next to the player. We're going to double click the trigger. And we're going to type in spawn enemy. Then we're going to go down to activation. And we're going to set this to radio alpha. We're going to set it to repeatable. And once we get done with our code, we'll put the code in here. But for now, we just hit OK. That's fine. And let's go back over here. We're actually going to set a enemy squad so let's just go to 04 and we're gonna just go to FIA and then men so we're gonna place down an enemy squad if you want to create a custom squad that's gonna spawn all you need to do is just place the unit you want so I'm, I'm just gonna place down four soldiers so I'm gonna place down an officer a rifleman a grenadier and a Bottle Rifleman. Alright, there's our four units, and what you do now is you just highlight all of them, draw a line, draw a box around them, like that, let go so that they're all highlighted. Right click one of them, and then go down to where it says Log. Now where you see Log, go to where it says Log Classes to Clipboard. Once you click that, the box will disappear. Uh, you can delete these guys because you're going you're to be dynamically spawning them. Class names for those soldiers will be copied to your clipboard. Let's go back to our desktop, our mission folder, and we're going to add these class names to the code that we typed up earlier. Back in our mission folder, and you should have your notepad document open with the code. All right, so you're going to go to brackets right here. So you're going to, in between the one bracket here and the three brackets you're going to paste the class names there so what you're going to do is make sure your cursor is there and it's blinking and then press control V and that will paste the class names that you copied in the editor so now what you're going to do is you have to add quotes before and after these class names put a quote 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 a quote 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 and a quote and then now once you have all the quotes you put a comma after the class names and the comma just separates each class name so you just put a comma and a comma and no comma at the end here so if we clean up the code a little and that's our full code now the problem is these are class names for Eastern Faction or OP4 Faction. So what we need to do is to change the West to East because they are on the East side. This is our full code. And what you're going to do now is you're just going to copy this entire code and press Control C, which will copy it. And then we're going to go back in game and we're going to put this into the trigger. All right, back in the mission. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the trigger. And let's just go here. All right, so here's our trigger. And what you're going to do is you're going to edit the trigger. And then on the on activation box, you're going to paste the code. So you just paste the code. And that's it. Just hit OK. And now we'll save our mission. And uh, let's play it. All right, so we pasted the code. Let's uh, get away from this bush so you can hear me. Too many bugs. Alright, so if you hit zero on your keyboard, because we created a radio trigger, and you scroll down to where you see radio, you click on, click on that, you'll see spawn enemy. If you hit that, you're not going to see nothing that come onto the screen, because we, we don't have a hint or anything to tell us that something spawns. So we're going to go to press escape, and we're going to go to spectator. And of course our guys spawn because they're right here. Click on one of them. And basically, we 
could watch these guys move around. So here's our custom squad, custom units that uh, that we just spawned, and now they are on patrol. So if we go to the map, go to the map, you could see our marker, and these guys are basically going to patrol. Now in the code, I have them set as safe, so they're basically going to patrol the area as safe, and they're set at a normal speed, but they're set at, at yellow, which is, for them, engage at will. Yes, yeah, so these guys will patrol the whole marker. Now if we hit escape, and went back to the trigger, and we spawn this again, go to the radio, spawn an enemy, hit escape, and we'll go to spectator. And now we have another squad that's spawned in, which is these guys. So now we have another squad that's spawned in, and these guys are also going to patrol. So the function, the function in the script allows multiple squads to patrol the same marker. It's not like limited or anything, and it doesn't matter. escape. Let's spawn another patrol. And now we have a third one. These guys spawned over here. The entire circle itself is basically the spawn point and the script will disperse the spawned units or group that you have uh, throughout the circle depending on how many that you have. You can see these guys are all over the place. So those guys are over there, these guys are in the center, and these guys are over here. guys if you wanted to make this more interesting for testing purposes uh, you could add a hint to the bottom of the code and uh, every time you use the trigger then the hint will pop up let you know that the you know your squad or your units have spawned all right guys uh, like I said I'll link the release thread in the description of the video you guys can check it out and I hope you find this new variation in the code useful and also the RYDPT uh, script useful. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.